morning, fellow wet shavers. It is Friday. Yay. Managed to make my coffee this morning. Did the French press again. I'm jonesing for some warmer weather. My Kona coffee mug starting to rain pretty hard here. Get a little cold. All right, so I'm going to wrap up my week with a Fern Boy sample um, shave with Holy Cow's um, Fougere, Fougere, I don't want to say Fougere, it's Fougere uh, Bouquet. Um, notes on this are, um, say, uh, oak moss, lavender, and bergamot, secondary notes of sandalwood, cedar, and other woody notes. The base notes include uh, coumarin, tonka bean, oak moss, musk, and ambergris. Synthetic versions of musk, ambergris, oak moss are used in the blend. So um, this is supposed to be a, a mix of sweet and spicy, damp, green, earthy. Uh, so I do get that. This is the tallow version uh, of the soap and um, contains the donkey milk and water buffalo milk, but it is not the Sierra base. I will, I don't have anything, a splash to pair it with. I'm going to pair it with Pro Rosso Green. Um, I read somewhere, and this is an interesting question. So um, PAA does their awesome sauce. When you read the, the description, it actually says that it could, that it's a fougere. Um, I don't recall reading that in any of the Pro Rosso descriptions though, but then I saw a post recently on Facebook on one of the um, groups actually asking about barbershop scents, but in that thread for barbershop scents, like what's the best barbershop scent, and people were replying what they thought were the best barbershop scents. But in that thread somewhere, um, Doug Smythe from PAA was commenting on different things and made a comment that um, one of the um, PAA fougeres could be a barbershop and then, you know, the comments went back and forth, but then basically Doug was saying, well, a fougere can be a barbershop or a barbershop can be a fougere. So I don't know, that's a good question. Is a barbershop or can a barbershop be a fougere? Is a definition of fougere so general that m many things that are also another category could fall into that category? That's, that's a question I don't know the answer to, but, um, but an interesting question nonetheless. So I'm going to scoop out I'm gonna grab my trusty spoon and I'm out here. It's kind of a harder, um, definitely a harder soap than, um, than the Ciro base, that's for sure. Um, kind of got it on my spoon, so I'm gonna to try to clump it together, see how much soap we have. So that's about what I got. And, uh, the bowl is currently empty. I will throw it in there. Yeah, it doesn't spread as easily as some of the other soaps I've used recently or the Sierra base. So you can see it's kind of kind of clumpy in there. And so I gotta kind of press it pretty good. And I want to try to when the soap's like this, I definitely want to try to get it more evenly dispersed around the bowl so I don't have like these areas where there's more soap buildup, because then I just have to kind of work it harder to get all the soap into the proto lather and then the lather. So kind of looks like that. And so I've spread it, I'm trying to spread it a little thinner. I am going to use my PAA Amber Aerolite brush. I probably wouldn't attempt to use my Heritage Collection Merit um, with this soap. You know, I guess you could, one could bloom it, I guess, in the bowl. You know, do this, bloom it while they're showering or whatever. Um, and then um, try to do it that way. Maybe that would make it a little easier to, to lather. So let me get some water on my brush. I forgot to do that. Anyways, this is the last of my fougeres. 
And uh, like I said, I wasn't really that familiar with Fougeres, but I guess it's really a wide range of soaps uh, that could be classified as Fougeres, whether they call them a Fougere or not. I will be using the car of Christopher Bradley on the B plate with a second use Lord Platinum Blade, and then obviously I've got my bowl. So I got my brush soaked. All right, so I am going to get to the lather and I will be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. Still in the process of lathering. Thought I would bring this up because I... So here's where we're at. I need more water. You know, I was watching Shape. <laughs> I just thought about this. I was watching Ken Shape 326 three, yesterday. So I'm just kind of, he was uh, showing some bowl lathering on camera, getting a shoulder workout. <laughs> but I'm just reminded about his little song, slap, 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 spread it around. Uh, I thought that was hilarious because I have small kids and he was saying anything you can make into a song, <laughs> the better. And I agree with him. So slap, 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 spread it around. Uh, there you go, Ken. I'm with you on that, brother. Um, so you can see we're getting getting a little bit more lather in there as I spread around. I like to go to the outside of the bowl like that. Um, haven't splayed it much. I do notice that sometimes, and I don't know if you can see that on camera, but right there is soap that um, I still need to kind of get off the bowl. So I have to, so I kind of look for that and I try to work those areas a little bit more when I have a harder soap to kind of get all that soap into the lather. So, um, which I think I just now did. So that little soap clump is, is kind of gone. And as far as water additions, I just kind of, I just kind of take my fingers like this and dip them in my water and then just kind of drizzle some water in there a little bit at a time. And then when I first put the water in there, I kind of go slow so it doesn't splash the water all the way around. Um, and then I just kind of keep going. So I'm gonna slap, 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 spread it around. Love it. I really do. <laughs> that's, that's good. So I hope everybody had a good week so far. It is Friday, it is my Friday. So looking forward to having a weekend. So I'm just kind of working it around this way, kind of trying to swirl it around and you can see the lather is kind of developing. And I'm gonna do another scientific addition of water. Yeah, I mean, I think Ken was saying about five milliliters. He does like two or three additions. I actually do multiple additions, kind of the drip way, just because I don't like to get too much water in here at once. And see, I can see, I don't know if you can see, but see it in the camera, but there's another um, clump of soap there that I know I've got to get up. Sometimes it's hard to see it because once you start to get you know, enough lather in there, you kind of, they kind of get covered up with the soap, but I try to look out for those and then get them. So getting my shoulder workout, I guess. And uh, so we're starting to get there. And this actually smells pretty good. I mean, I, I think on Monday I used my, I think I used Fougere Mania, which is also holy cow. And um, so I'm just, Drizzling some more water in there. Um, I didn't really care for it, the scent. Um, but then Tuesday I used Fougère Angelique and that was fantastic. So I'm just stirring it around and I'm kind of coming out of the bowl here. Wipe my, get my hand clean so I didn't slip on the brush. So occasionally I'll kind of splay a little bit just to like that in the bottom and then just kind of start whipping it around or as DK damn fine shades would say beat it like you hate it it's kind of all right so definitely have more soap in there so I'm gonna try 
another fancy addition. Maybe a little bit more. And I have not used this base, so I'm not really sure how water tolerant it is. It doesn't seem to be uh, thirsty necessarily. So it lathered rather quickly, or started to get a lather rather quickly without a ton of soap added to it. But so I'm just going around in circles. It's kind of like life, going around in circles sometimes. Ooh, we're getting a little, little uh, lather out of the spout there. Ken had a little trick he mentioned yesterday about how he can tell when the soap is ready about how it comes off the side of the bowl. I had never, never tried that or thought about that. I usually kind of try to tell by look and feel and then kind of how it, how it um, set on my face, whether I was hydrated enough. But I guess you could, if you pull it away from the sides, if you get enough in there, you can probably start to see some peaks kind of coming off there. So I guess depending on what you want that to look like, you can tell whether you're hydrated enough. And I think, I think I'm pretty hydrated enough. I've got quite a bit of lather in there. I might do one final scientific addition. So I've never measured the amount of water I put in here on each addition or total when I lather, it's just kind of, I think you got to do it and, you know, look and feel. And then again, different soaps or, you know, just keep going around. And I like to go around the sides before you get it in the middle and then just kind of whipping it. Slap, 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 and spread it around. So, um, so I think we got quite a bit of soap or lather and, uh, Anyways, I think I got sidetracked there, but um, so I was ready to, to disqualify Fougeres from my whole entire future purchases uh, after Monday, but Tuesday kind of <laughs> brought that back. Um, so Fougere Angelique was really, really good. Um, I don't know if this is the best scent ever conceived by mankind, like Mike said, but it is definitely den worthy for me and good, one I'd hope to pick up eventually. This one, um, you know, I, it, for me personally, it, it's definitely better than Fougere Mania. I don't get a lot of the lavender or um, citrus notes in it, as it says in the um, scent notes, but um, I do get the earthy, somewhat spicy notes that it was talking about, so it's not bad. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna buy it and add it to my den, um, but in terms of like a whole soap and splash set, but I am glad I tried it. So we'll kinda get going here. So we'll try to shave fast, maybe not fast, but just so we can Get everybody on with their day and get the shave done. So they took a little bit longer with the with the lather and can you inspired me. As he has inspired me to do this to begin with, really. He really my conversations with him and everything else and watching him. And I watch a lot of videos, a lot of people, and I mean they're all an inspiration, but I think just getting my foot get, getting going. And everything else, I kind of, Ken was kind of my enabler, my Ken Abler, as he's affectionately called by those of us who know him well. So I know I refer to him a lot because I watch him a lot and I consider him a friend. All right, and then we still got like tons of lather in there, so. Let's get started. Mm. 
And soap is plenty slick, gliding over my skin very nicely. This is my first use of the of this base. I mean, I use the Sierra base on so plenty of lather on the on the uh, razor, but I use the Sierra base on Monday, so I, I I don't know. I mean, now trying to remember and recollect how that shaved and felt would be difficult. But I feel like there's not really a drop off by much between this base and the Sierra base. From what I recall, I think this base actually produces a, a higher volume of lather. I think the Sierra base is a little bit more, I don't know what, I think the term might be low structure. So the slickness and Cushion were there, but the amount of lather, volume of lather that I got out of the bowl for this same amount, similar amount of soap, uh, was not as much as this. And I just realized I'm going against the grain on the first pass. Hmm. Where is my mind? So we will try to get back on track. All right, there we go. One pass down. Yeah, I mean the the scent on this isn't bad. I, I mean it's it's good. If you like fougeres, then this is probably a good choice. I mean it's not too anything necessarily. It's very I'd say it's probably pretty very neutral. You know, with the fougere angelique, I really got the uh, the lavenders and the limes and the citrus for sure. Somebody said it was like, it reminded me of candy. One of, the, one of my commenters, I think, uh, I think Wolfpack said that. And uh, I thought, hmm, maybe, uh, or maybe, or maybe it was on the Facebook. Uh, maybe it was Mark. Uh, anyways, um, and you know, after, after, he said that, I thought, you know, I can see that. I kind of could get that, because it's got such a lime forward, lemon and lime forward scent. I can see where you can get like, kind of like the hard candies, like, I don't know if I'd say lifesavers. Although I wouldn't say it's, I could see how he can get, you can get that vibe from it, but it doesn't smell like that to me. It was really great. So anyways, my point here is this isn't really one. It's very neutral. into my sequence here. On to pass three. So 
that is an interesting question I posed earlier. Can a fougere be a barbershop? And then who, by whose definition? Who defines what a fougere and or barbershop is? Is it because certain scent notes are used? Is it because someone calls it a fougere or a barbershop? As you can see, we've got plenty of lather left over, so that amount of soap I used definitely produced plenty of lather. I mean, it's got a nice sheen to it. Um, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but anyways. I think I would be honestly just as happy with this base from Holy Cow as with the Sierra base. And this base is, the products in this base are um, less expensive than the Sierra base. So something to consider. I don't, this is just a, a sample that I picked up at Maggard. So um, it wasn't too bad, but I don't know what, I didn't shop or price the actual four ounce tub. So, but I do, I think if I remember right, it is less than the Sierra base. I mean, you're paying, I think $29 for four ounces for Sierra. So I think this is less, but how much less I don't recall. Careful not, it's a lot of residual slickness. I gotta be careful not to overshave an area. Do I don't like to go against the grain in the stash area. I don't know, I've just found it difficult and I, I probably just need to practice it, but I've just cut myself so many times. I'm trying to do kind of a hybrid. up here. All right, that's good enough for me. All right, we're gonna rinse off and get to the post. Getting cold here. Not snow cold, but sometimes I feel like I'd rather it be like 25 degrees and sunny out. I know some of you get weather like that. Even if there's snow on the ground, then like 40 or 45 degrees it is here, but raining and wet. I don't know, the, the moisture in the air just makes it seem like it's so much colder. All right, so just using the Pro Raw, so I, because I didn't have a splash to match it with, um, 
And so we're just going with this. It's green, right? Ah, got that stain. Okay. All right, folks, thanks for watching today. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing below if you like what you saw. If you're not new here and you've been here before, appreciate you coming back. Uh, and if you've subscribed, I really definitely appreciate that. So if you haven't had a chance to subscribe and you also, um, I know I mentioned it, but I did have to change my um, Google channel. So it's the same name, so that might be a little confusing. But if you think you're subscribed or you subscribed before, double check that you're subscribed to this one off of this link. Um, I still haven't picked up uh, all the subscribers from my old channel. I'm trying to get the word out, message out. Unfortunately, I can't really see who all my subscribers are so I can message them directly um, to let them know. So I'm just trying to get the word out as best I can. So anyways, um, thanks for watching and have a great day.